All right, so the um, yeah, basically, uh, basically with Android, let's see here, I'll knock this. Um, with the apps, uh, all you do is just hold and put it there, <laughs> and you can move that's, it around the screens. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot pretty more navigation options. Pretty self-explanatory there. Contacts, did you say? Yeah, let's check out the contacts here. So there, you just go. Um, and then a lot more visually pleasing with Windows 27, I guess you could say, right? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Because, as you can see, watch this. When you click on the contact shortcut, see it kind of like does that 3D transition. You got your contacts, your favorites right there. Then you zoom. Well, they yeah, kind of just scroll through here. So it's all very simple. And um, then you can also pin contacts to your start menu as shortcuts. Say, if you talk to someone a lot, you could pin their contact information to your start menu and just click on it to call or message or whatever you pick all right let's go into market all right that's yeah, a big market, one yeah that's a big one yeah all right <laughs> as you can see faster with android all right, all right. um it's focusing oh it can't focus the camera hey it's focused Okay. Um, all right, so uh, this is a market hack. Uh, I chose neon, uh, neon yellow on black. And all right, while he's trying to figure 64 that out, sixty-four megs. Wow! I'll show you this. Um, very smooth. Shut up. You got your featured apps here. Just six featured apps for the day. <laughs> Change daily. Then one featured game. Usually it is, or any app usually. And then. You got your list of categories here, HTC apps. You just go in there. That's HTC device exclusive apps. And you got your HTC hub, that's with the weather and everything. You got your HTC YouTube app, photo enhancer, I'll show that later. Sound enhancer, stocks, notes, converter, flashlight, and a whole bunch of other apps. And then you just click the back button. It takes you back to here and click apps. That's just all general apps. And you have subcategories here. Well, first it comes up with a featured app and then you have subcategories all HTC apps games entertainment finance travel social productivity and so on and you can click on any one of these say tools and the first screen shows you is the top apps for this category and just wait for it to load here okay and then you can just scroll through it uh, there you go now market lags a little with the loading of the images since it's hacked. I don't know if it's any smoother on a native Windows Phone device. But here you got your apps. And then you can swipe to the side. You got your new apps. And then wait for that to load. Come on. Uh, this gets really frustrating sometimes. Nice. Alright, there you go. And then you can just click over here as well. You got your free apps and then your categories. Well, for Android, um, I guess the swiping feature could be uh, the same as like you know you just click on the games instead of swiping you just click uh, for categories. But um, yeah, and then the categories are listed vertical here. You know everything. Uh, everyone see the market obviously. Uh, apps, apps and games. That's about it. You would go about installing an app? Uh, sure. The difference between two? Alright. I'll just pick one randomly. I'll pick something else. Top stupid. three. Smug shot. I'm on the first one. Okay. Also, the difference between the two is um, with the Android market, there's the free app version, and then there's the paid app version of an app. And they're both in different categories. But with the Windows Phone 7 market, there's even though there's a free app version, it's all in the same p place, and that's the paid app version. But in, when you click install, it would say free trial, and you just click on that instead. All right, so here's the the thing. You just click free, okay, and uh, there it is. And it's installing, right? Yeah. All right. Well, with Windows 1 7, after you click on the app, you just click install. Wait for that to load. Click allow, and install. And it says purchasing, even though it's free, you're not actually paying anything. And then here it shows the download progress, and now it's as installing app. You can check the install. 
and it show up right here. And it's really simple. In downloads shows you what all your downloads are. And if you go into the market homepage, let's go to that real quick. Down here at the bottom tells you how many updates you have for all your apps and how many downloads you have currently going on. So I click on that, Star Wars. See it says attention required. I'm not sure if you can see that, but if you tap and hold on here, you can retry and it will retry to download it. And then your updates, you just click on that and it shows you what all your updates are. And then you can click update all. And it'll update all of your updates for you. Also, another thing is on the live market live tile, there's a number beside on the market live tile, and that's the number of updates that you have. So you always can tell how many updates you have. It's pretty cool. Alright, so um, we're going to do a quick boot, off, boot down test, I guess you would say. Yeah. So um, with Android, uh, you get. Move your phone over this you get um, with Android, when you press the power button, uh, you don't get this much, but uh, since this is a hacked ROM, uh, we got uh, silent mode, data network mode, flight mode, power off, reboot, recover, and download. So um, we're going to power off our devices. Um, so, um, wait, but before we power them off, I'm just going to explain that there is no such menu with Windows Phone 7. You just press and hold the power button. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, All right, are you ready? Yep. All right, three. One. What? Three, two, one, go. So, um. A little goodbye message that's about there. Because Windows Phone 7 cares about you and wants to be polite. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and we have no further point of telling which is off first. So. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, Alright, power on, I guess. Well, um. Let's just wait a second, just so. Right. I don't know. Uh, mine's on the floor, so I can tell if it's vibrating or not. Do you think yours is off? Oh, yeah, it's a little thing. As soon as the goodbye message disappears, that means it's off. Oh, all right. So, uh, let's go. Um, three, two, two one, three. hold. Well, actually, you just have to press it once. You don't even have to hold it to turn it on. And uh, here we go. This, this is interesting. <laughs> it's not hacked. It's that's, not that's hacked. That's why yeah. it's doing that. It's not. <laughs> it's supposed to. It's not. <laughs> That's not hacking. <laughs> so uh, there we got the. This is the Firefly ROM. So that's why they have there with all the colors. And DFT Dark Horse team. That's um the team that made this ROM for HD2. And there it is. Now, I'll actually um say it's a bit bigger. Now you notice that um, Android boots straight into the lock screen while Windows Phone 7 boots straight into the home screen, which is a little bit of a difference there because you don't have to unlock it once it boots. You just start using it right away. Now, when, Same. Another thing is with Android, once it boots, it for some reason starts up all your programs. You have to kill them and it lags at first after you boot it up. Didn't lag there. So with <laughs> Windows Phone 7, it nothing is running in the background as soon as it boots. So it's very smooth, right off the boot, very smooth, and you can start using anything you want right off the bat. Very Let's smooth. Check this out. Yeah. I mean, look. Uh, see, you, you even have to overclock in order for I'm not. Work. I'm not overclocking it. What are you talking about? Uh, here we see all the... I gotta give you credit. That is a smooth applications menu right there. Hold on. Contacts. Let's see how smooth this is. All right. See, look. Now it's good. I don't know what my phone was doing. Yeah, it's a lot better now. See, that's how it's supposed it's to still be. still not as smooth, though. Press the search button and see what that... You know. Me? Yeah. See, his takes him to Google. Mine takes me to Bing. You got that nice picture in the background. And these squares. If you click on the squares, gives you some information of what the background is of. Oh, that's uh, kind of interesting. That's useless. Useless, but interesting. <laughs> it's just the little things that count, you know? Um, okay, what does your keyboard look like? Keyboard, that's right. Very simple. When you press the letter, pops up bigger, so you know what you pressed. Same. So on, very smooth, fast. You have multi touch? Yeah. Let me see. Nice. I think it's multi touch. Yeah, that's multi touch. Nothing. No multi touch for keyboard. Alright, so then what's uh, landscape? Um, do you want to. Oh, landscape. No, you have to. It's not on the screen. Oh. 
There we go. So it's just basically it looks like the same keyboard minor, just a uh, little spaced out more. Yeah. Whoa, what are you doing? There you go. All right, so that's the that's the keyboards and uh, search. Um, did you want to want to um, do the voice thing? See how accurate they are. Voice. The voice search. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll, let me. I'll start. You. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a yeah. very good idea. All right. So, what should we do? Something uh, simple. Both. Uh. Yeah. Um. Bugatti Veyron. Okay. That's a. It's a interesting name. Yes. Bugatti Veyron. CD, I need a round face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, All right. let's test mine. Oh my god. I hope mine does. I was not expecting that <laughs> at all. Biggest fail in the world. Alright. Oh my gosh, that's hope... epic thing. Alright. I hope mine doesn't. I've never used this. I think I pressed this. Bugatti Veyron. And uh, as you see, mine goes straight to Bugatti, Bugatti Veyron. Huh. All right. Let me try mine again. Let's see. <laughs> Bugatti Veyron. You get these little interesting noises while it's thinking. Cigar, Cigar lighter, lighter once. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. That's, that's crazy. All right, well, as you can see, very accurate voice recognition with the Android. Not so accurate with the Windows Phone 7. So if that's important to you, I don't know. It's your choice of whether, you know, it's that's not, a it's, deal breaker or not. It's not important to me, so that's the first yeah. time I've ever used it. Yeah, same here. Actually, um, let's, let's try something more specific with uh, this. 9800 GT Plus Super Clocked. Oh, crap. GT plus oh nice GTX oh it actually it corrected me yeah uh it it, it made me look like a retard so that's pretty <laughs> sweet all, all right. right now I'm gonna show you a cool little shortcut here if you press and hold the start key it takes you straight to the um voice that, recognition yeah, voice software. recognition software now everything I just said it picked up and it was searching for so I'm gonna restart that. 9800 GTX plus super clock. <laughs> Bugatti Veyron. <laughs> Searching for 9800 GTX plus super cross. Oh, that was that was that pretty was darn close. That was close. That was nice. All right. Yeah. All right, we're back. We're gonna show you the calendar function, pictures, and everything compared from Android uh, to Windows Phone 7. So, where's your calendar app? Um, it's actually right there. Pretty easy to get to. Also, you can. Well, I have a work on my Windows on my Start menu right there. Oh gosh. Fancy. Fancy indeed. Fancy. All right, and then you got your. Can you zoom out like uh, months? Oh yeah, yeah. You right here it says 17th of March. If you just click on that, yeah, if you just click on that calendar thing, it goes like it. You can just swipe through months, I think. Whoops. Or not. Oh, you can't. Sw oh, you can. Up. It's up and down instead of over to side. So basically, I can just tap. There. And I swipe. It's not as smooth as it should be. Yeah, it's kind of laggy. Yeah, no, so it's kind of hit and miss. See, that's not laggy at all. Oh, hit and miss. All right. Yeah, I yeah. know what you're saying now. Oh, I know. I was going from out here. Yeah, exactly. See, that does nothing. All right, so basically then, uh, say 17th or 18th. Um, never show again. It's the 17th day, so if I click on the 17th, it goes to agenda. And then the day, and you can have your day, hour by hour, say 6 a.m. Click on it. Subject. Oh, okay, so it's a, it's the same though. So. Location. Yeah. And then, when, that's pretty dandy right there. Pretty dandy. Yeah. Nice. I, I like how you have to scroll through that. You get Mine's the picture. This. Yeah, look at that dandy. Yeah, no, no. Windows Phone Seven beats that. Alright, so so it's pretty standard, both on both. It does right. what it has to. Yeah, uh, gallery app. Um, so let's go into gallery. What do you, oh, 
Oh, okay, gallery, photo gallery, okay. Well, right here, pictures. And you got a nice background of any picture of your liking. Say, I can change the background by clicking and holding. Change background. Ooh, that does. That does. Save pictures. I want this Corvette ZR1. You mean ZR1? Fine, whatever. Now I have this Corvette in the background. And also, when you change the background for that, it also changes the, the picture for the hub. So, now I have a Corvette on the hub as well. And also, you have, see, categories here, all by date for your favorites. And if you scroll over, you have your recent that you viewed. And then your new ones. I have no new ones. So if you go into your all, you have your camera roll. Picture sucking by the camera. It also shows videos. Actually, no, you can't see the videos in the photo viewer. Actually, yeah, you can. I think. Yep, you can. So, um, you can actually watch videos from your photo view. Then you have saved pictures. You just scroll through that very smooth. It takes a while to load the actual pictures, though. And then your mobile photos, things you uploaded to the internet. And then you can also scroll and see it through by date. So here, February 2011, March 2011, and then your favorites. I have none, and then back to all. So pretty simple, actually very simple. What about yours? Um, I think mine's even simpler than that. Just got camera. So uh, basically you can tap these, or go back, or you can use the multi-touch feature and just split them apart. Once you're in here, it's just a, it's just a gallery. I mean, nothing special. Oh, you got Porsche here. Porsche, right, homeless. You everything. Can escape. So yeah, so then just uh. Click on a video. No landscape in the menu, but and it just plays. So yeah, that's pictures. basically it then. You can view picture and portrait. Or um, landscape. Yeah, so that's it. That's all the camera app is. And you can scroll through or gallery app. Nice. Yeah, you, you can't do that. What? Yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, I know you can. I'm just joking. And um, um, music and videos. You want to? Music. There. Music app. Uh, oh, yours is just music, isn't it? What? Yours is just music, isn't it? What are you talking about? Well, see, mine is music and videos. Yours is just music. So, in oh, Windows Phone 7, it, your music and video player are integrated, and your photos view oh. are separate. But in Android, it's your photo and video player, and then your music player separate. And the sound. Nice. Are you not turning that off? Turn it off. <laughs> All right. Well, um, for Windows Phone Seven, in the background, you got the album art from the latest album that you've played or listened to, and then in the main menu, it's your Zoom player. You got your music, videos, podcasts, radio, and marketplace. If you click on the radio, it'll obviously take you to the radio. It, your headphones have to be connected in order to listen to radio. And here it shows your history, what you last played. And then if you click your music, it's just simple. You browse through your music by alphabetical order of the artist. And obviously either choose uh, two albums. Bass Nectar or Pendulum, right? Yes, yes. All right. And then you albums, and then you scroll through your albums. Yeah. And then songs, it's by song. It's a long list. Yeah, it is. Playlists, I haven't created any playlists. Genres. Back to artists. Very simple. Very and then nice. your history again, like by song. More history right there. As you can see, I'm just going to turn the songs because it's a good song. And it's playing. Very good speaker. Very loud, actually. I'm going to actually turn it down as quiet as it goes. Nice. <laughs> it's very loud. Not really. Yeah. And then you got your new songs, the latest songs that you've downloaded onto your phone and then your mark that's um links to other apps that play music uh, such as slacker radio if i click on it, it takes me straight to slacker radio and loads as you can see there and if you click the back button it should take you back to the music player yeah there we go or not yeah i just want to edit, exit slacker and then it takes you back to the music player and then there's also a link to htc youtube my youtube player and it loads that. There you go. And so, fairly simple. And then, and it, your um, volume rocker, if you click on that, your music player is integrated into that as well. So, from there, you can switch your song 
go to the next song, or the last song. Well, actually, in this case, I can't since I'm playing it on repeat one. But you can pause, adjust volume, and also set your phone from vibrate to ring. You can toggle that nice. up there as well. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Yeah. All right, well, anyways, that's fairly simple. Very inconvenient, actually, because if it's on lock, you don't have to unlock your screen in order to change the song or turn it off or whatever. You can just press the power button, press the volume rocker, and then hit play or pause or next song, or even toggle from vibrate or ring. So very simple, and that's actually very useful because that way you don't have to unlock the screen.